Hello all, this video is on displaying LM35 data onto DWIN HMI display. This is 4.3 inch shell type economy version. So the resolution is 480 by 270, but it has got a shell and a resistive touch type. It has got a different type of connector, 8 pin 2 mm connector for communication. Let us open the back case to see inside. The left hand side is the 8 pin 2 mm connector. It is different from other models. So the top two pins are VCC where we will be connecting 12 volt and uh, the next two pins are not implemented as it is economy version 485 not implemented. Next is TX2 and RX2 and the last two pins ground. So this is the 8 pin connector. We will be using for power source 12 volt DC 1 ampere. And you can see some uh, protection diodes for the communication pins RX TX and there is a slot for placing battery of for RTC to the right and end is the SD card slot. This can be accessed from outside side itself so you need not open the cover. Let us place a 2032 button cell for uh, RTC purpose. And uh, uh, let us connect the 8 pin 2mm connector. Uh, this connector is supplied along with the display. Otherwise, you have to uh, prepare this connector. The top two pins are uh, VCC. So, these two pins uh, go, go to the center pin of the socket. That is the uh, inner positive. So, it goes to the inner uh, pin of the DC socket and the last pin goes to the outer pin of the socket. That is the DC socket. The other three pins we will be using are uh, TX2, RX2 and ground. Let us first uh, finish the DGS software settings and then come back to these connections. Open the DGS software, click on new and then select the resolution 480 by 270. This is a normal resolution as it is uh, economy version. Select the location and then click on plus. We have got only two images that is 00 and 01. Note the naming of the images starts from 00. This is the first image and the next image where we will be displaying the LM35 data. Two images. Uh, first, we have to create the font file for this. Click on the font generator and then generate the font file. It will be stored inside the uh, DGS software from where you started the software. It, the name naming convention is 0.hzk font file. Copy this file and then place it inside the dvin underscore set folder of your project. Now click on DGS and then go to the ICL tool as you have to generate the ICL compressed images. Select the picture. We have got only two pictures. Select them and then generate ICL. Now is the difference from the other models. You have to store this as 23.ICL as it has got only 8 MB flash memory. Other versions have one 16 MB flash, so it will be 32. ICL, but here it is 23. ICL. It is very important. And then you have to edit the CFG file also. CFG edit and then you change it to change the ICL address to 23. This is very important, otherwise, this model will not work. And then click on new CFG and store it as T file CFG dot CFG. This is the only naming you, you can give under dvin underscore set folder. Now on the first image, click on icon display and then picture animation. And to the right hand side settings, select the picture ID initial start as 0 and end picture is 1. And RTC you can set up to 255, that is up to maximum 2 seconds. The idea is when the power is on, it will display the first image, it will go to the second image after uh, 2 seconds automatically. So on the second image, go to the text show and click on data variable, draw a uh, box on the data variable. And to the right hand side setting, we have to provide the VP address, let us provide it as 5000 and uh, set the color and the font, font size selected as 4.0, alignment is center and variable type is integer, two digits. We are going to display only integer. In the next video, we will be seeing how to display float and then save the file. And from display, you can see the preview. Next, to transfer the uh, project onto the hardware, let us copy the dvin underscore set folder to the SD card folder. We will be using 16 
GB memory memory code and then copy the dvin underscore set to this code the memory code should be formatted for uh, 4096 bytes uh, chunks plug in the SD code with the uh, uh, dvin underscore set remove the power while inserting SD code and then provide the power back now you can see the blue screen of uh, downloading files it takes some time and after that the downloading is finished remove the power and then remove the SD card now provide the power back now the project has been uploaded onto the hardware you can see the first screen after some delay it lands onto the second screen where you can see the data now let us see the connection of this uh, D connector <coughs> we will be using male connector so that uh, it can match with the female connector of uh, RS2322 TTL the first pin to the left the second is RX third is TX and the fifth pin is ground so we will be connecting uh, straight that is TX to TX of uh, DVIN display RX to RX2 and ground to ground this is a straight connection it is not reverse and then we can plug the female part of the RS2322 TTL it is built on 3232 IC RS232 board requires 5 volt supply which is taken from Arduino ground to ground and then RX pin is connected to RX TX to R, uh, TX it is straight it is not reverse and LM35 data pin is connected to A1 analog pin no, uh, and then we will see the Arduino code here we define the software serial with RX pin 3 and TX pin 4 we create a software serial object and we define uh, that is a we define the VP address as 0x50 we are using only the high byte and we def create an array temperature array of 8 bytes 5a a5 is header 0 5 is the number of bytes 82 is the right code and then the temperature address which is the VP address high byte and then low byte and data high byte low byte in set setup we start the dvin serial at 11 5 200 baud and within the temperature loop we check the ADC value of temperature and do the calculation and uh, print it on serial monitor and then we call the data Arduino to display for displaying it on DWIN display under this uh, function we use the high byte that is the uh, index 6 is having the data high byte we separate the high byte and then the low byte which is at index 7 and then we send the uh, data to DWIN display using serial dot write. Now the data is being sent to the DWIN display. You can see the uh, data is displayed on the data variable location. It is only integer value. In the next video, we will be seeing the float values. So this is how to use this economy version of 4.3 shell type DWIN display. Thank you for watching.